Hello! We have a different setup going today because I wanted to do a nail video. So I already have it based and everything with the base color. I picked a red and like a glittery orange. So I'm just going to do like a decorative uh, design on it. So I wanted to film it. So I'm going to start with the rhinestone glue and I wanted to do like flames that I did previously on my own nails. Um, these are for an event that I'm doing later in the year. So I'm getting a head start on it. <laughs> and I'm doing like a 3D effect flame on it. It's really cool. And then I put a chrome powder on top of it. But right now I am just drawing on those flames with the glue and it'll give it that 3D effect. It'll be like raised and bubbled up. So it looks really cool. So this is the final result. You can't really see it too well because it's clear, but it looks pretty cool in my opinion. So you're going to cure it. I do it for about 60 seconds just to make sure the glue is cured all the way through. And I'm just going to start on the next nail. And here I'm just checking to make sure that the glue's dried all the way through. So I like press on the top to see if it's still squishy. So if it's hard, it's cured all the way through, but you still want it to be tacky because you want the chrome to be able to stick to something. And um, if you cure it for too long, it will completely be not tacky anymore. And uh, that you don't want that. So this is the chrome powder that I wanted to use. It's like a bronze kind of shade, and I thought it would look really nice with the dark red burgundy shade that I used. Um, and also the orange glitter, I thought it would pair up pretty well with it because it's kind of like the glitter is kind of like a uh, amber color. That uh, eyeshadow applicator I used to rub on the chrome powder onto the nail and I'm just rubbing it onto that glue part to create that flame effect. And that's what it looks like after you put the chrome powder on it. So when you uh, put the chrome powder on, you don't have to cure it yet until you top coat it. So you can just put it off to the side and start on the next nail like I am.
I also think this flame effect looks really cool with like a really pointy almond or stiletto shaped nail. It just really fits with the shape of the nail. It looks really, really nice. <laughs> and go figure, I always like going for these kind of grungy, uh, alternative fashion-y kind of things, even outside of makeup. <laughs> So now I'm just brushing away the extra chrome powder that is on the nail because it kind of um, gets a little bit like dusty on the nail. So you can just brush it off with a clean brush. So now we're gonna top coat all the nails. It's just a regular uh, shiny top coat. So when you're top coating um, nails that have chrome on it, the chrome powder is going to get onto the bristles of the brush, so it's always best practice to wipe off the brush before you dunk back into the bottle or your whole top coat is going to become chrome and it's going to ruin uh, future applications. Also, since these glitter ones that I'm doing right now are, uh, don't have chrome on them, I, that's why I didn't like wipe off the brush because it didn't have any chrome, so it, I didn't have to worry about it contaminating the bristles. And once you have everything top coated, I just cure it for 60 seconds. And I also do a second round for 60 seconds as well, just to really make sure that the nail is cured all the way. This was the palette that I used for the base colors. I used this burgundy shade, this kind of like brown shade, and this glitter orange. I used the glitter orange over top of that like brownish red shade. And you always have to make sure you use a base coat before you put on the gel, or the gel will just peel off all the way. And then I was just hitting the button for the second round. And now we're done with the top coat. Looking cool, looking cool. I really like this flame design. I'm pretty... Uh, impressed with myself and that's just a different view for you. So if you like my videos do like and subscribe and I hope you have a great day